Okay, doing some more photo etch on the funnel. Uh, put around the platform. That was quite hard. You have to trim a little bit on the inside out with the nibs and that. Because <clears throat> um, it's got a tendency to buckle. But other than that, it wasn't too bad. So that's on. A little bit of excess glue, but I'll live with that. Um, you have to put these chain things on. You see, I don't know what the purpose of them are. To me, waste of time and effort. Seriously. Um, but I'll put them on now. So we shall continue on. So far, it's come along really good. <coughs> okay. While well, I'm waiting for stuff to dry, I'll start working on the funnels as well. Going on this at the moment. So glue that together. Boom. Put that on. Starting to work on the photo etch now. So basically, it's it's. Um, I'll just leave that out the right. <coughs> it's only a couple of pieces that you really need. This little slots here. That where are we? Little slots in there. So they just go in. Zoom in a bit. So all you need to do is just put them in situ, like so. Everything's crashing, crash bang. using just a small bit of CA glue. So I'm running up the side. And this one's exactly the same, you just find the little slot. Hangs in. Here should be in the sack. There you go. Super glue in there. Try to put some stuck to my finger. It's quite simple, not much to do. So I'll continue on. That's what it's basically look like. Where are we? So I'll continue on and show you what it looks like in a sec. Okay, when you're putting in uh, the photo etch for these, uh, for the funnel, the two end ones are bent only slightly. You see them there. So it goes in uh, formation of that part there. Everyone else is straight. The other two ends are just bent. You have to bend them only very slightly. And once they're glued in, they're fine. So that's what it is at the moment. Okay. That's the vents done for the funnel. 
just bear in mind that in the instructions it doesn't mention in here we put it together C94 so there's a C94 that goes in here it goes in the middle so just bear in mind if you're building it so that's C94 there zoom in on it okay that's C94 there so up the top you've got 95 down the bottom 96 and 94 in the middle for some reason they just don't mention it don't know why but that's where we're situated at this time let's continue on okay <clears throat> still working on the funnel um, <clears throat> basically there's not much to it I'll zoom in a bit more um, I shouldn't say much to it there is um, there's a lot of fiddly little bits and pieces and so forth <clears throat> Okay, uh, quite a lot of photo etch. Okay, when you um, get to this part, you've got to put photo etch in here. Okay, on this end, you have to turn them inverted because if you put them straight up, they won't go in and you get an overhang, so you have to invert them. Um, there's quite a bit to do in photo etch. Um, but it's quite easy to do I must say fiddly but it's not too bad so that's the main obviously main funnel um, the only thing I have to do now is put this on like so and then I'll let that dry overnight, then I'll obviously do the rest of the painting on it. Um, there is a ladder to go on, which um, I will put on, but you've got to wait until this glues. Um, let's see if I go with the glue. So, just put a bit round here. I use the old the old rebel and put a bit a few dabs along here. Okay, and plonk her in. Okay. That is the main funnel. Okay. Now there is a ladder. I say that goes on, <clears throat> but it goes on that way actually. So you've got two holes there, so he'll fit in there and work his way down. So I'll glue them in this place. Move them across. So now. And um, yeah, and that's done. Put it to one side. Uh, still working, obviously, on the bridge. <clears throat> okay, I'll just zoom out a little bit. So this is what I've done so far. Okay, um, it's pretty good. I don't mind it. Looks okay. Um, there's a few ladders that I have to put in. Um, obviously, search lights and so forth. Um, fire and control mechanisms. Like it was just covered. Well, the Yamato was just that had heaps and heaps of fire, fire control gun placements. 
So, yeah, she definitely was an awesome ship. I have to clean that little bit up there as well. <coughs> but that's where we're situated this this stage. So it's come along nicely. Except oh. me, but we can't all turn down. Oh, that matter. Okay, <coughs> I'll go glue this ladder in onto here. Then I'll let it dry overnight, and then we'll get going on some. I'll paint it. Obviously, you have to do the paint, the black round. Um, here. So, from my understanding, you've got that little ridge there. So you just have to tape that up as you go along. Might be quite hard <coughs> to get a decent black, I suppose. But let's see how we go. Okay, I've put the ladder on. She's a little bit off-center a bit, but yeah, it's the best I can do. Maybe a little bit of a shove here, but I don't know. That'll do. So it's come along well. Uh, the railing went on quite easily, actually. Um, I found that part of the walkway quite difficult because it had a tendency to... Um, what they call it, well you can see there, it's not actual level level, so it dips here a little bit, so it puts that out a little bit, but yeah, it's just something you have to put up with, um, so I'll let that dry overnight, as I said, and um, we'll continue on. Okay, I'm in the process of putting the ladders, antennae, and so forth, so I've got here, D9, a little basically a fork. So, what they have to do is sit on top of these things here. Now, what I did, let's so zoom in on it. Move them over. Move them across. What I did. Let's just pick him up. Try to pick him up. And basically, all I did was try and just split this, um, get like so, got me knife, and just pushed it down a bit. And it makes it like a claw. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. Now that that's back out again. Too close. Okay, so you've got to mount it just here. Which you can't see because of the Okay, you just gotta mount it here. Okay. So what I did is get my trusty piece of wire wherever that went to. Oh, there it is. Just put a dollop, a very small amount of CA glue. On top. So you can just see it, just there. Get some tweezers. Now this is where patience is a virtue. You can straighten up the aerial. And you just put it on like so. Now, as I say, it will dangle and fall off and carry on. But what you have to do is just be patient and it will set. Oh, thought I had it. Obviously not. Now there may be people out here out there who do it better. 
which is, you know, everyone does things a little bit different. So let's see what happens. And there you have it. I'm quite sure I can see it on there, but I'll bring him up. So you can just see him just in there. So I'll just let that dry. That's the, what I found was the easiest way to do it. Um, there are some um, little markers within on the pieces here, but I just found out like do it like a claw. Hang on, just, just go like that, like a claw, and then just goes down. I found that the easiest way. <clears throat> okay, I'll start on this at the moment. This is the upper fire control system, I'd say, of the bridge. So, not too much to it so far. So, it's the G2. This goes in. It's a bit extra thin. Let's move that across a bit. Oops, that's a bit light. Up, you had to do. Uh, where do these go? These have to go this way. This way. Let's have a look. Maybe not. There you go. So that's in. Hear the TV in the background. That's my wife watching telly. Uh, 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 so put that in. Okay. These are the optics. So we'll just peg those. I think. Peg your thin. Sides. That's just a peg. Clamp them down. Yeah, I might use two pegs if I can find the other peg. I did have it somewhere. Okay. I'll just clamp it. Same with the other side. I need to do a little bit of cleaning up, not much. Okay, I'm still working on the top part here. I'm a bit confused. In the instructions, you've got two sorts of um, railing. I don't know why. You've got 
this one here, and you've got this one here. But according to just bear with me. According to the book. <coughs> basically says Excuse me while I find it. Well, I think it says. It's only got one railing. So I don't know where they... I don't know if you can see that. Bring this over. Excuse me. It's only got one railing. Not two. So I'm a bit... bewildered. I was looking further through, and again, it's only got one railing. So, I don't know where it's getting this idea here that there's two. So they've definitely placed it here, and then they've put this over the top. I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense, but anyway. I think I'll, I'll only put this on. So, the old photo etch, the arch nemesis of everybody. Um, so, what I'll do... tiny bit of CA glue and I'll start off very slowly put a little dollop in the corner here so I'll get this and I'll just wait till that goes off there I'll just position it as closely as I can Makes no sense. I don't understand why it's gone that other way. Okay, bring this one. That's still, still got a tack dry, is it? Okay, you just hold him in spot. Forty seconds or so. Twenty seconds, whatever. So he's there. Bring this round here. <coughs> As I say, you don't need much super glue. Well, we call it super glue in Australia, everyone else calls it CA glue or whatever. Um, small washing machine if you can hear it. Okay, I'll let that dry for a bit. Reposition this up here. that you have to do it very, very slowly in the increments. I'll get that out of the bloody way. Um, that's just me. So bring this over. Marking down. Ouch. And 
and hopefully it doesn't stick to your finger, which that just did. <laughs> Binding, I imagine. So let's see how that goes. I could do it that way, couldn't I? I'll put a bit on this edge and anchor this in. So it doesn't fly around the bloody place. I'll clean this off. So just put a bit... Oh, I think I'll go down this way. its own at times, seriously. Interesting though because you've got quite a big gap, haven't you? Just there. So you thought that would have been further over, but the way it's rolled, or the way I put it on anyway, I'm not so. Yeah, I'll put a bit there at the front. There you have it. So I'll let that dry for a while. Then continue on. But I'm still dumbfounded why you're supposed to put another railing with internals. Doesn't make any sense. That's come along quite nicely, that's what it looks like so far. Like, railing is not my forte. Like the top here, there's quite a big gap there as well. So I know I've got some leftover railing, so I might just put a little bit in there, I think. Apparently this sits on top. Obviously, like so. Away you go. Now I assume this is a walkway, but I don't know why this never had railing along here. I was wondering if that other bit should go along here. But not, you wouldn't have enough of it. Hmm. Anyway, still got a bit more to do on this one. So I'll put him to one side. And we shall continue on. <coughs> Still working on the superstructure as such. Um, I'll zoom this out a bit. 
So I'm working on this part at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, not much to it really. Uh, look. Put on the ladder. Aerial support. Don't even know what that is, but uh, there's a couple little bits here. Now, I'll just move this over. There's a little part here that you've got to insert so it comes into circular pieces and one inserts into the other. The easiest way I did it. Let's put on some blue tack. Um, as I say, not much to it. And then I'll do the radar, radar antennas after that, I think. Which, I'm in two minds whether to solder or not to solder those, to be honest. Um, clean the, um, Super glue off it. Put the dab on. So I'll let that sit for a while and then go from there. So <clears throat> I'll let him sit for a while. There's a post that's got to be inserted up to the top, so I'll find him, and then we'll go from there. Okay, managed to glue him on. So, that's what he looks like. The fencing got a little bit bent, so I'll have to fix him up the best I could. As I say, the fencing I find very, very difficult. As you get older, you haven't got the dexterity, basically. So, <clears throat> we'll see how we go. So he's finished-ish. I'm just gonna do the, um, the radar antennae, I suppose. So I'll do them next. Okay. I'm doing the radar at the moment. Not much to them, really. Surprising. Um, they come like this. Just bend them up. I'll use a bit of extra thin, I think, on this one. And once they're glued together, there's a few areas that I've got to nip off. Now, I've seen the painting these from uh, look, it's open interpretation, obviously. I don't paint these Creek Marine, it's an off white, then stain them a darkish color, like a little panel line on them, and see how that looks. Um, yeah, so. Let's see how that goes, I think. And hopefully it'll be okay. So that's those two. Um, you also need... ...45, D45. So D45 is... things here. Let's see how they go in. I might cut one off. Just have a look. So I imagine they'd go at the back or they go at the front. I don't know. My 
do some reference on that one. So that's what they look like. Very tiny little buggers. And they can either fit in, I think they'd go in the front. Like so. Obviously you need your glasses on because I can't see. Oh, bugger. Magnifying glasses that is. So if they go like that. I'm going to look at the book. I'll be back. Okay, I was wrong. Right, the book. Which is like the Bible, I imagine. Or oh, interpretation, isn't it? As you can see, by the book, let's move this over, move it down a bit, so it's going to be off angle a bit. Um, looks like it's internal. I haven't seen any of this stuff here yet, so I don't even know if that's actually in the kit. But we shall see, we shall see. Um, I haven't seen that either. I think the misinterpretation of that, isn't it? I think you'll... Let's have a look. Do we look at that? I think I've glued that wrong as well. So that should be around the other way, I think. I'll have to manipulate that. Oh, well, we shall continue on. So, <clears throat> I might as well start working on the search lights. Um, bit of cleaning up to do. I'll just show you one. So he's done. There's a bit of photo etch involved but not much. <coughs> he's done. He's done. Looks like these can only go in one way, which is good. Extra thin. I just put a bit of extra thin on. This is a quick set. And looks of things that just slips in over here he says one hole and there's your search light so imagine Oh, look. 
box the of things that part goes on top on the hinge part I suppose you could call it <coughs> put it in there And one shirt search light. So what photo etch it's got is actually there's a few. I didn't realise. Oh no, it's only D14, 15. D14, 15 looks like they're just wheels that go on here. <coughs> Very tiny little knobs they can use, obviously. So we'll get that going and show in a sec. Alright, I'm starting on the aerial at the moment on the tripod mask, I think they call it. Um, it's a little bit of photo which to go on it, but I found these things quite difficult for the antennae. So what I did, I actually break those off and glue them on separately. Um, I tried doing it the other way but they're just so fragile. So let's zoom in a bit. It's not exactly neat neat but it'll do. Um, yeah like these things are just on the side and the slightest movement they went pop. So the best thing I did was just remove them. Um, I didn't actually glue them right to the tip. I put them in a little bit so they sort of centered down the middle, which is probably not correct, but if you can see that, that worked all right. The mask's pretty easy. I didn't film that because yeah, basically it's just three bits, or two bits really, three actually. That piece there. Oops, I'll zoom out. So basically it's that part there, this and that, and that's it. So I've still got some more photo etch to do. There's a couple of pieces, so I'll just wait for this to dry. And then um, I'll go, so what I'm going to do is paint that up to grey here, and the rest black. Um, I've continued, oh, I'll just put that on one side. Bear with me. I finished the the bridge and radar. So as you can see it turned out okay. Now that's the white. It's um Creek Marine white actually. And I just put black on it. So away we go. So um Turn right, like the fence. Oh, I'm terrible with the fence. It looks like a crooked bloody hind leg of a dog, to be honest. So we'll continue on. But I've put the searchlights in just there. So it turned out pretty good, I thought. So I'll just continue on with the masks now, I'll just wait for the CA glue to go off a little bit longer. Then I'll cut the other bits out. Okay, I'm still doing some photo etch, so... Still part of the superstructure. The easiest thing I do is get the photo etch, line it up, bend it there. We know there's a bend here. And we know there's a bend at the back. Like so, like it's only rough, so by the time you position it, like so, I should put it down, so you position it like so. Start in that corner. Just need a bit of glue. So 
just to tack it in. So you don't need much. So you just need a smidge as I call it. So you just put it in there. Sit for a bit. And then what you do, sit a little bit. Just let that dry. Just that on this little end here. Again, just a little bit of glue. Take the lid off and help. Need a dollop. Okay, we bring this over. for a bit. Try to. I'd like to put a little bit in the middle, I think. Let him dry a bit. Okay, the railing's basically in place. So it turned out pretty well. So I'll just paint him. Might make that a little bit dark, like a um, black, like mezzanine floor. And um, we'll go from there. Okay, at the moment I'm building the 4.5 metre rangefinder type 94, which is that one. Just similar to obviously to the um, Yamato. It's pretty simple to do. Like it's only one, two, three, four, five parts, six with the photo etch. So basically, all you do is glue these two on. And go for the photo etch. <coughs> now the photo etch can be a bit of a bugger to use. So if all I've done is um, use the roller, roll it out a little bit, put it on roughly the position. Okay, so it's gonna go. Roughly start there. To be honest, I don't think you're going to see the numbers which are printed on here. Um, but for the sake of you know keeping it as as original as possible, I'll put the numbers there. Now I start off very slowly, just with a little bit of super glue. Just to get it started, try not to glue myself, and you just pinch it there. Okay, and we'll get to the point of just wrapping it around slowly. And a bit more. I'm only tacking it into place really. Because once it's basically in place, I don't think it's going to move personally. 
Uh, excuse fingers at the moment, because more fingers and thumbs. Okay, so you put it down there. Okay, a little bit more. A bit more. And once it's sort of tacked down, it's, it's quite easy to um, to leave. Now, what I'm going to do is just leave this for a while, obviously, to um, to settle down and glue properly. And what I'm going to do is just use an extended um, tweezers. And the problem is here, I've glued it to myself. Okay, let's see if that's tack it down. We need a little bit more because I glued it. As I say, I'm not an aficionado with bloody shadow, I should say, with um, photo etch. So once it's just tacked, I'll just get my tweezers. do is just clamp it in place like so. And that's all I do. And let it go. That's the one I've done previously. See the photo edge? And then they don't paint over that anyway. Um, that will actually get on stuff. Um, now I've finished the aerial. So that come out pretty good. Don't mind him at all. Um, so the range finder themselves will eventually sit on top of this. Be glued to the side of the guns. And away we go. So okay. The superstructure is just about finished. Um, let's see if I can put them some zoom in. So I put the walkways in here, ladders. This basically just sat in. I never actually glued that in. The only part I glued was that little ladder there. So the rest is quite firm, I think. Um, Some of the range binders I put in as well. So it's looking really, really good. Pleased with it so far. Uh, last bit glued in the aerial. The aerial looks good. Oops. Bear with me. So I'll start putting the gun emplacements in now. I think. Okay. That's about it for now. I'll finish for the day and I'll catch you next time.